Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and today I have a really fun and bright art journaling process video for you. This is the second last process video in this journal. Uh, I'm very excited because this Dina Wakely Media Journal is now finished and I can finally move on to a new journal. Does anyone else feel start to feel a bit stale if they've been in a journal for too long? Uh, I started this one last, was it last October? So I think I've been a about a year i'm actually recording this in august um schedule and pre-scheduling some videos ahead so this should be out in november uh but yeah i've been in it since i think october last year so uh, less than a year in one journal uh but i have also got mm, like seven other journals on the go at the moment so what i'm doing here is i've got some matte gel medium and i use the liquitex brand it's it's nice i can readily get it at my local art shop uh, and i'm just sticking down and collaging a whole bunch of napkins and uh, printed tissue paper and i'm just kind of filling up the whole space i'm i am leaving some white spaces which i'll come back over and uh, fill in with some paint in a moment but I'm basically just sticking down and covering up the background because I'm going to be, if you saw from the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing my cutaway technique. We need a name for it. What's the name for it? Like a paint, let's call it a paint away. So when you paint away the background, so you're left with some sort of focal image um, in the center. So the idea here, if you're scrap lifting, what's the because I know with scrapbooking, you scrap lift something, which is where you use the elements of a page in your own project. What's it when you art journal lift? Is it art lifting? Hmm. Let me, help me come up with a term in the comments. Uh, but if you want to art lift this at home, basically you just want to fill up as much space as you can with that printed pattern. So you can see in lead pencil, I've just hand drawn some leafy little fronds over the top. Uh, I just used a normal pencil because I know that I'm going to be covering up the lines and I'm going to outline them anyway, so it doesn't matter. You, the trouble with, uh, if you make a mistake with pencil over the top of this kind of thing, it's very, even though it's pencil, it's very difficult to rub out if it's over the top of tissue and things. So just be mindful of that. Here, I've just got my dilutions paints and I'm just using a whole bunch of the colors uh, to just fill in any of the little white spaces, which will be inside the leaves if there's white spaces outside the leaves i'm not worried about that at the moment i'm just filling those in i've sped this up uh, quite a lot because i'm literally just painting little blobs of paint on the leaves uh, a lot of people ask about uh, suggestions for which paints to start using if you're a beginner and I really enjoy these dilutions paints. They're thin and fast drying, uh, which is good if you're impatient like I am. And they also work well with stenciling because they're, they're not too thick and chunky uh, and they're readily available in scrapbook stores and craft stores. And you might even be able to find them in some of the, the bigger, like does, I don't know about Hobby Lobby and things like that and Michaels if they would stock I think they might who knows I'm in Australia so I usually buy mine uh, online or if I come across a sh in store uh, like a physical store which is quite rare these days I grab them there so I'm just going around and kind of overlapping some of the tissue at the same time just to make it all look a bit more seamless the idea is just to make it look like a bit of a color explosion you don't really need to decipher shapes and patterns of those background papers uh, you just kind of want it to look very very bright and colorful now if you wanted to I think this would be great to uh, replicate with a like a really strong color scheme so you could do all blues and greens I think that would look fantastic with a black background or you could do the same with pinks and reds and even a little bit of orange in there uh, with a white background that would look really lovely as well so just have a play around I was feeling rainbow today I think with this art journal the last the last few pages are very rainbowy and I'm not, I don't feel like I'm usually a rainbowy person. I, yeah, I, I like colors, but I don't usually use all the colors all together. I generally 
pick and choose and just have like usually pinks and blues let's be real uh and so yeah I was just I was feeling very rainbowy at the end of this journal now I I finished this actually in July I'm recording this and editing this in August and I'm scheduling this for November Uh, a lot of people have asked how I figure out when videos are up and what I need to record um and I may have already filmed a video on that but I am going to uh, and I think I'll put that here on YouTube or Patreon I'm not quite sure where it's going but it will be up somewhere so here I have some white dilutions paint which is very see-through it's not it's not very opaque at all and I'm going around the outside of these leaves now if you were doing a black background this step wouldn't be necessary because black is such a dense color that it's just going to cover up any of these bright things Um, but at this point I wasn't quite sure what color I was doing for the background and so I wanted to do the white just to um, eliminate any of that extra color that was hanging around I I am planning, hopefully, uh, this should be part of the November printables over on my Patreon. Uh, If you are new to my channel, if you've stumbled across, I have a Patreon where I post videos every five days and I also have a digital printable downloadable collection every single month. Uh, There's, I only keep two months up at a time at this point. Uh, So if you join, you'll be able to download last month's ones as well. My naughty phone needs to be quiet. Uh, and yes so I'm hopefully going to include this as maybe the art print and some of the pocket page cards for November so if you're one of my Patreon peeps they should have come out yesterday if I've got my scheduling correct so off camera I just painted the midnight blue dilutions paint in the background and if I had done the blue over the top without doing the white first it would have looked darker and patchier Uh, by putting the white there I'm really letting the the pigment of the the blue kind of really shine through and be the right um the right tone I guess you could say and not pick up any of the the things in the background using a white sharpie paint pen and I'm just outloading uh, outloading what is that even a word outlining all of my fronds here uh and yes so like I was saying I think I I scanned the fronds before when they were white because I it took a long time to figure out if I wanted it white or if I wanted to do something a bit risky and go for the blue and in the end I did go for the blue of course but I did scan it um, with the white and I think I'll make that a pocket page card for this month for November and I'm also going to make this the art print for November which will be fun Uh, I hear we're probably heating up the weather's heating up and I feel like this is a, a bright and summery kind of page and I know not all of my Patreon peeps are in Australia of course um, but I'm feeling summery so I'm I'm thinking this will be a good time to have this here. So then I just did a little quote and a doodly border. I I found this quote I just typed into Pinterest um, plant quote and there were some random things that went up in there. I was I was hoping to have things that were like grow and journey of growth and plants and blah but I got some strange things so then I typed in grow quote and I found this one and I thought it was good because they do look like little seedlings that are cracking through the earth so next up I've grabbed a white chalk texture out of my pencil case uh, and I'm just doing some white splatters because you all know I love a good white splatter on an art journal page. I just feel like it really makes the colors kind of pop and it's just really fun to create chaos on my desk by shaking this white chalk texture around everywhere. I'm almost done, but then I felt like I needed some more detail on some of these leaves. And so I'm grabbing some various colors in Posca paint pens and I'm just doing like little doodles, like little pluses and stars and hearts and dots uh, in the background just to cover up some of those areas that were just paint because I had wished that I had stamped before I painted uh, the white and the blue over the background if I could go back I would have stamped a little bit in the background but um, I didn't want the stamp to go into the the blue so 
Posca paint pens it is. I'm just adding a few little bits and pieces here, um, but then this page is all done. So keep your eyes peeled. I've got my last process video for this journal will either be this month or the start of December, and I will have a full flip through over here on YouTube in December of this journal. It's been a labor of love. I'll talk about it in the video. I've had some pros and some cons with this journal, but in the end, I freaking love it. It's so fun to flip through. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you want any info on my Patreon, uh, the link will be in the description below. That's my last page. I'm very excited and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.